Hey everyone, so uh, I've made a bunch of progress on this and this took me four days to make uh, just because of the complex number of wires. You can see that there's a ton of wires going in between everything. Um, but let me show you what the uh, what I've got so far. So this top part is the clock module. So everything from like here is just a timer, right? I can manually pulse it with this button or I could switch it to automatic so that this is the output. So this is what, like, every time this blinks, it's sending a pulse to all everything down here. All right, but that was that's what I did in the last video. What I did this time is, first, I made these two what's called registers. So I can put data on here and then move data from, like, the bus or the, you know, the outside of here. I enabled the inputs, and then I could turn it on. And then I could turn off, I'm just going to turn off this LED, just this one, by pulsing it. All right, so that's what these two things can do, this top and bottom module. The middle one will take the top data and the bottom data and either add them or subtract them. This is register A and this is register B. It'll do A minus B or A plus B. And the results will end up over here in these eight yellow LEDs. Everything over here is not being used. Uh, we made it, but I don't. We're not using it yet. He said it was gonna. The tutorial said it was gonna be in a later part. So, to show you kind of what this thing can do, let me first clear this out. Oops, I have to turn the inputs on. There we go. And let's let's add the number three and the number two. Let's add three and two. So in binary, the number three is all zeros, zero, 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 and then one, one, or on, on. So let's put that there. And in uh, binary, the number two is the same thing, but this is just on, and then, oh, you can't see it. This will be on and then this last one will be off so it's the same thing because it's this is three so three minus one which is this last one would be two so i just turn those on i'm manually turning on these obviously i'm going to make sure that it can accept the inputs and there we go now i turn off the input so i don't accidentally pulse it and you can see that three plus the, the two should equal five. And indeed that is five in binary. So you can't, it's hard to see from this cause it's over, it's too bright, but this is, this LED is off, the one in the, between them. So it's off, 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 on, off, on. And that is the number five in binary. I can't, you can't really see it too well, unfortunately. But there you go, that, that's what this does. If I want to see what it is to subtract it, I can just toggle this from an off to an on and it'll give me the reverse so three minus two is one so only this led is on that you can see if i pull it away far enough so yeah uh this sits in between the registers takes the two numbers adds and subtracts them and then outputs them over here and this is just so i can see what's going on as the uh, results so the results are out here and then i'm just pushing them to these LEDs so I can see what the result is.